Hey guys, it's Way here. Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you guys the ultimate FIFA tier list. I'm going to be ranking all the FIFAs from FIFA 19 to FIFA 10 on a scale of god tier down to just straight up trash. Now this is going to be my personal opinion on all of these games. I want you guys to let me know down below which of these you agree with and what your favourite FIFA was, what your least favourite FIFA was, everything in between. Let me know down below in the comments. And if you want to actually make your own FIFA tier list, there will be a link down below to that. You can tweet me a picture of it. And again, my Twitter can be found down below in the description. Now, we've got a total of five tiers. God, great, good, average and bad. And we're going to start off with the easiest pick by far, and that is FIFA 14 going straight into the God tier. And if any of you argue with me on this one fight me because FIFA 14 honestly hands down the best FIFA ever no FIFA is going to ever come close to FIFA 14 it was so much fun I have so many good memories the nostalgia is unreal everything about this game it had the best soundtrack of any FIFA pro clubs was fun back then career mode was fun ultimate team was amazing we had the world cup we had the world cup game mode that was great it was the first FIFA on next gen so the step up in graphics was just insane Everything about this game was so, so good. I have so many great memories of using really fun, creative teams with lower rated cards, silvers, and, and a lot of non-rare golds that were just super, super good back in the day, like Abarbo, Benteke, Draxler, Adair, De Bruyne, players that were super cheap, but that could beat God squads. You had so many amazing, fun players to use. Silvers were great back then. Um, the likes of... Um, I think he was called Malapa, there was the silver, Eddie Johnson as well, a couple of silver players that were beasts back in the day. We had all the green cards from the World Cup, it was the first FIFA with legends as well, so we had insanely rare, elusive cards like Pele, who I think appeared on the market like a handful of times throughout the entire year. Wages back in the day as well, that was a big part of this FIFA. It was just so much fun, like, I honestly can't think of anything wrong with FIFA 14. The gameplay was great fun, it was fast paced, um, heading and crossing was very overpowered but it was still a lot of fun in the game. It wasn't just Ultimate Team that was fun, you had all the other game modes like Pro Clubs, like this with FIFA, I played so many games of Pro Clubs with my mates Chris, Aiden and Tom. If any of them are watching this video, they'll remember back in the day, it was so much fun and um, yeah, FIFA 14, nothing is coming close. I played so many games on this, thousands of games, um, back when I was in year 9. It was the FIFA I played the most of, and um, I mean, nothing is getting close to that. So we're, we're leaving that in God in God tier on its own. Nothing is getting close. Great is going to be where I'm going to put two FIFAs I didn't play much of. Maybe if I'd played more of them, they could have been in God tier, because having seen other people's tier lists, they've put um, these FIFAs quite close to the top. But for me, I didn't really play much of them, especially Ultimate Team. Um, so I'm going to put these two FIFAs here, FIFA 12, the first one, in great. Um, this FIFA was a lot of fun. The gameplay was very arcadey and simple and clean. It was fast-paced and it was just a fun game to play. You could use, similar to FIFA 14, lower rated cards, but still be able to, to beat really good teams and have a lot of fun. Silvers, especially Brazilian silvers like Mike Onliete, um, Marcio Azevedo, so many, so many players back then um, were just so much fun to use. It was a very, very fun game to play. The actual gameplay was amazing. You didn't have a huge amount in terms of content. We didn't have Legends back here. Um, anything like that on Ultimate Team. Obviously, Squad Builder Challenges, nothing like that. They, they wouldn't come in for years. You just had the division system. You had tournaments as well. Um, and it was just a fun game to play. The gameplay was a lot of fun, and you could use a lot of random players. Career mode was good back then as well, as was Pro Clubs. It was just a lot of fun. FIFA 13, I think, was very similar to FIFA 12, and that's also going in the great tier. Again, I could have maybe put it in God tier, but I really didn't play that much of these two games um, compared to how much I've, pl I've played later FIFAs. Um, but FIFA 13, again, very similar. Very fun gameplay. Um, you could use a lot of those fun players you had a lot more options like nowadays if you want to win games and play well you need to use a meta team you need to be using the same players as everyone else um, and you really have to focus and try hard on the game whereas back in FIFA 13 FIFA 12 these older FIFAs you could make just fun teams with players you liked 
um, using lower rated players. You didn't have to put loads of money into the game to get a team that would compete very well. Players were cheaper as well um, on the market and if you wanted to get the really, really elite cards, you could just go and buy yourself some coins and open some packs. Um, we, people were doing crazy pack openings back in the day, the likes of KSI and Rotashaw. And I think back in these three FIFAs here was when FIFA on YouTube was at its peak. Um, this is when I got into YouTube with, was with FIFA 14. Um, and I think that kind of time there was when FIFA was in its heyday. Um, that's when we had the huge YouTubers like KSI uh, and Rotashaw, Matt HD Gamer back then as well. Those, those big, big YouTubers were getting so many views, there was so much hype in the game. And nowadays, the likes of Roadshow and KSI don't really even upload FIFA anymore. Um, they've just they've just left the community, really. But back then, FIFA was banging. It was so much fun. And I just have so many good memories of these FIFAs here. Um, so now we're going to move down to the good tier. Now, for me, um, FIFA 15. I was very, very close to putting FIFA 15 in great tier. And I, in fact, in fact, I will put FIFA 15 in the great tier because... I loved FIFA 15 and I played a lot of games of it. It's it's one that I kind of might put like on the, on the fence, but you can't really. I, I kind of want to put it in between great and good. FIFA 15 was very, very fun. Probably the FIFA I was best at. Um, I played so many games of this. And the reason I don't think I've put it, I wouldn't put it in, in God tier. And I'm kind of wanting to put it kind of halfway between. It's just because it was kind of like FIFA 14. It was very similar to FIFA 14. Um... But uh, we didn't have the World Cup mode, so we didn't have any of that kind of extra stuff. And then we had a lot of a lot of issues halfway through the game. EA then came in and started cracking down on, on coin selling. And we had players going extinct all over the place. We had um, price ranges, which were really annoying at that time. Nowadays, they're great because they've meant that the high-end players are so much more affordable to the wider community. And I'm now a big advocate of, of price ranges. But back then... Um, you had players that would have a price range that would mean that you couldn't really sell them because they'd be at their minimum price and you'd have countless players at that price. I remember especially during Team of the Season that was the case and you literally just couldn't sell Team of the Seasons um, because they had just pages upon pages of them listed all for their minimum price and you had to put uh, loads of contracts, consumables like fitness cards and stuff and um, plus 10 attribute cards and just keep wasting them for, the, for them to eventually sell. So there were a few issues with this game. Um, so that's why I haven't put it in, in God tier and why it was kind of on the fence. But I still have so many good memories of this game. It was so much fun. The gameplay was great. I was quite good at this FIFA, which is rare for me. I'm normally quite bad. Um, and I think it was probably the last FIFA where you could use those lower rated cards and still do really, really well. Um, nowadays, you have to be using meta players. You can't be using silvers or non rares or anything. But back then, you still could. You still could. Maybe to a lesser extent than some of those earlier FIFAs. But it had really fast paced gameplay, really smooth. I enjoyed the gameplay a lot. And that's going to be in the great tier. Now, moving down to good, um, I think I'm going to put FIFA 17 in good because. I think a lot of people didn't like FIFA 17, but I really liked it because it was the first FIFA we had score bit of challenges in. And yeah, really hit the nail on the head in that FIFA with the rewards we got from those SBCs, with the prices. I think we had a lot of advanced SBCs. Nowadays, for some reason, they, they released them at the beginning of the game and haven't since. But FIFA 17, every month or so, we'd have new advanced SBCs with really good rewards. The players you got from League SBCs were amazing. Suarez, I think, was one on FIFA 17. Lacazette was another. We had some really, really good players um, from those SBCs. And I think that's what made this game so, so good. It was also the first FIFA with foot champions in. So we had a lot of new content in FIFA 17. Um, and I think that's what made it so good. We had loads of new stuff to do, and SBCs just made it for me. Like, you had Player of the Month, we had uh, Son and Sterling, two cards. I have such good memories of that Sterling card back then. Player of the Month, Sterling. I think he was maybe the first Player of the Month um, of, the, of the year. I remember playing so many games with him. So, FIFA 17 for me, I have really good memories of. And uh, it could even be on the fence between great and good, but I didn't want to put too many in that great tier. But I loved FIFA 17. It was it was a lot of fun, and it was my best FIFA in terms of YouTube as well. I remember back in the day, I used to get so many views. I'd be banging like 20k views a video with about 15, 20k subs. Like I was doing really well back then. Um, sadly, my channel and FIFA has kind of declined since then. But back then. I have a lot of good memories, a lot of good memories indeed of FIFA 17. I wasn't very good at the game at all, but there was so much content, I really did enjoy it. Um, so that is going to be in good tier, and 
Uh, I think that's going to be the only one in good tier because I didn't play FIFA 11 and FIFA 10 at all, really. Um, so I don't really like I don't really have an idea of how good they were. So I'm going to put them in average. I'm not going to say they're good. I'm not going to say they're bad. I'm just going to put them in average simply because I haven't played these two FIFAs. I actually have them up on my rack of games there. I bought them for like 10p in game a couple of years ago. Um, but I didn't actually play these FIFAs, so I, I'm not entirely sure where to put them. And having seen other people's tier lists, they haven't said they're like god tier, they're not amazing, amazing games, and they're not bad games. So I'm just going to put them in average, having not really played either of them. Uh, I'm sure, similar to FIFA 12 and FIFA 13, they have that fun arcadey gameplay. Um, and uh, I think they're probably fairly similar um, in terms of the content we had back then as well. So they're going to be in the average tier for me. And then I think alongside them, I'm going to put FIFA 19 in average too. Now, I know there's been so many issues with FIFA 19. Um, and I'm not going to say FIFA 19 is anywhere near good. But we have so much content on FIFA 19. I think we could definitely have a lot more. But we've got a lot of good stuff with this game. And... I think there are a few things that could be fixed that would definitely make this a much better FIFA and I'll be addressing those in a video in the near future. But we've got weekly objectives, we've got foot champions, we've got foot draft, we've got loads of SBCs. We have so much more content on this FIFA than we have had in any previous FIFAs and I for one actually quite like the gameplay of FIFA 19 and I've played a lot of this game. I think behind FIFA 14 and 15, it's the FIFA I've played the most of. Um, it's the first FIFA I've really played foot champs in. And I've enjoyed the grind this year. Like, trading is very, very good this year. It's very easy to make coins. You have so many ways of making coins, whether that be from trading, investing, flipping, um, doing SBCs, playing foot champs. We've got division rivals as well, which I think was a really good implementation into the FIFA franchise, taking over from... Um, what we used to have obviously which was the just the standard division system where you didn't get that good rewards uh, We've got squad battles as well. Like there's so many ways of making coins. I think FIFA 19 is a good FIFA, but it's just let down by the, the issues we've had with EA just making endless mistakes maybe like releasing players in the wrong position in SPCs for example um, things they've just could have done and haven't done like um, refreshing the types of players we get in league SBCs more often, releasing more advanced SBCs, and just countless other things. There's too many mistakes for me to put FIFA 19 any higher. A lot of people say that FIFA 19 is the worst FIFA we've had yet, but I disagree just because we have so much content, there's so much to do on this game, um, I'm going to put it a little bit higher up than, than the bad tier. And then down in bad, we're going to go with FIFA 16, which I don't know why, it just never really clicked with me. I've, I didn't enjoy FIFA 16. I just don't think there was much on it. Like, we had Foot Draft for the first time, and that was kind of it. Like, it was quite a dead game. It was very similar to FIFA 15 and 14 in terms of content um, and gameplay and everything, apart from Foot Draft, which wasn't a huge, huge thing for me. Like, I didn't play that much of the draft game mode. Um, I just don't think it was an amazing FIFA. Like, we didn't have a huge amount of new stuff. It was kind of getting to the stage where you couldn't use... Um, those lower rated kind of fun players anymore um, people were starting to just use those those really high rated expensive meta players and if you wanted to compete you had to use those types of players where you would just get run over by everyone else so yeah for me it's going to go in the bad tier I just didn't like it I just didn't really like it and I had Jordan Henderson on the front cover as well um, I'm not sure how but yeah that is going to be in the bad tier alongside FIFA 18 now FIFA 18 it's a tough one because it could be a little bit higher. It could maybe be an average. But I just think there were, there were a lot of issues with FIFA 18 and it didn't really click with me. Again, like FIFA 16, I don't really have that, that many good kind of fond memories of it. If I think back to FIFAs like FIFA 14, 15, 17, I, I can think of so many good things that I really enjoyed. Whether that be anything from the soundtrack to the gameplay to maybe a certain player like Player of the Month Sterling on FIFA 17 or Christian Benteke on FIFA 14. But if I think back to FIFA 18, I just think of kind of broken mechanics. I think of so many cards. We had too much content on this game. We had way too much content. It was it was crazy because EA were just pumping out promos all of the time to make money. Like if, back on FIFA 14, you think of 
like the promos we had, we had the World Cup, which was great. We had Team of the Season, which was great. And then occasionally we'd have Man of the Matches, and they'd be really, really rare, elusive cards, and everyone would be hyped. I remember, like, I can still think of individual Man of the Match cards we had, like Robin Van Persie on FIFA 14. The people would do wages on that people would be hyped about. And it was kind of quite exclusive. We had quality over quantity whereas on FIFA 18 I think on FIFA 19 as well and maybe a little bit in FIFA 17 EA focused more on the 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 quantity and just pumping out so much content to generate money because people are going to spend money if, if cards are available in packs um, so they just released so much stuff with the World Cup they released so many cards you had so many cards that were just 90 to 99 rated so many um, it was kind of unreal and it just kind of destroyed the market really and it meant that those amazing cards didn't really have that much value Not just on the market, but just if you had them in your club, you just had a whole array of high rated cards um, And you wouldn't get that hyped over having a really good player or a really good team or something like that Because pretty much everyone did there was so much stuff available on the game um, like for the Champions League we'd have like the team of the knockout stage the team of the group stage we'd have loads of different man of the match cards for every single round just for that alone then you'd have the world cup and you'd have so many different cards then you'd have festival of foot where they then re-release all of those cards you had team of the seasons for like every single league in the world then they got re-released and you had all those cards in packs and you had just so many so so much content that's kind of what ruined it for me fifa 18 and then when we had the world cup game mode that then just destroyed actual ultimate teams so the entire end of FIFA 18 was kind of dead like if I think of FIFA 14 the summer of FIFA 14 was amazing we had the World Cup and the game just kept being fun after that whereas with FIFA 18 as soon as the World Cup ended FIFA was so so dead the market was destroyed um, everyone had amazing teams everyone had amazing players you couldn't use cheap affordable fun players you just get destroyed by everyone so for me, yeah, FIFA 18, that's the rant over on that one. That's going to be in the bad tier, alongside FIFA 16. Average, FIFA 11 and 10, having not played too much of them, and FIFA 19. FIFA 17, I think that was a good FIFA. SPCs really made it, and we had foot champs too. Great, FIFA 12, FIFA 13, FIFA 15, and then God, FIFA 14. I love that game so, so much. I'm going to see if I can find it. Here we go. I've found it. The limited edition FIFA 14. This was actually on Xbox 360. I didn't play it on next gen. Um, but we've got it in the metal case with this kind of hologram um, magnet of Messi on the front. But everything about this, like that Barcelona kit, I remember because of this game. That text, that font, I remember because of this game. Um, the whole colorway, everything about this game. Like, I can't fault FIFA 14. It's in the God tier. And below that we've got great, but I could put about 10 tiers between God and great. And I think that's how much better FIFA 14 was compared to all the other FIFAs I've played. I'm not sure about you guys, but for me, just everything about this game. Like looking at the, the box here brings back so many good memories. Everything about this game. Like, as I said, I literally can't fault that game. So many good memories of it. Um, by far and away, not just the best FIFA, but the best game I've ever played. Um, and yeah, I remember like I just played so much of that game with my friends um, I used to live or I still live next to the school that I used to go to um, And at lunchtime at break after school my friends would come around we go into town We get some food come back and just chill and play FIFA People would go back in the evenings. We'd all play pro clubs together back when I was what like 13 I think um, Yeah, like so so much fun. I can't like if, if I could turn back time and go back to be 14 um, I would because honestly like, I spent so, so much time playing this game and it was so so much fun the soundtrack as well on my Spotify um, I sound obsessed with this FIFA. I actually am on my Spotify I have a playlist of FIFA 14 songs because there were so many bangers back then um, And they still bring back the memories when I play um, Those songs nowadays, but there we go. That is my FIFA tier list Let me know what you think down below and if you have anything bad to say about FIFA 14 give me your address because I will come and fight you um, But there we go if you guys did agree, let me know down below. If you didn't, let me know down below as well. Leave a like if you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.